Can we get them somewhere other than food? Nutrients are certain uh, essential components which is required for the growth and health of a body. It also helps you from uh, not getting uh, sick. So these nutri- always food is the major source of nutrients. These major nutrients are vitamins, uh, proteins, minerals, carbohydrates, etc. There are certain other nutri- nutrient supplements also where you get the nutrients, but the doctors. Uh, that that is prescribed by the doctors when they find it that you are deficient in particular nutrients is it better to eat fruits or drink juice ma'am see the major difference is between the fruits and fruit juices is fruit has got fiber in it but fruit juices always have its water content and the uh, minerals and vitamin content so it is advisable uh, um, you i mean for your age group it is always better to have fruits but you can include once or the fruit juices once or twice a week which carbohydrates are the best to include in our eating pattern as i said earlier fiber is the uh, complex carbohydrate that means uh, complex carbohydrates are always helpful for your uh, proper bowel habits and uh, to prevent the fat absorption so that you won't become uh, fat this major source of uh, fiber is Uh, fruits and vegetables there are also carbohydrates as you eat this sugars jaggery honey all are uh, source of carbohydrates and even cereals are also uh, source of carbohydrate but uh, compared to the, uh, the health for the health benefits you as for your age you can have one or two teaspoons of sugar a day not more than that but the cereals which uh, the rice wheat everything which you eat is also carbohydrate that you have to include all the i mean in all the meals like breakfast lunch and dinner now what is the ideal weight for an 8 year old child what all kinds of food items should we eat if the weight is low or high uh, for a, uh, when we say in terms of nutrition the age group is 7 to 9 so those the the age category which falls between 7 to 9 years they should maintain at least 25 kg the maximum that is the proper cut off point is 25 kg so that depending on your parents uh, uh, hereditary it can go up to maximum 2 to 3 kg plus or minus that is uh, it can be of 22 between 22 and 25 or 25 to 28 that range is the normal uh, uh, body weight you have to meet and that is the age group between 7 years and 9 years and if you uh, are having a low birth weight than 22 then you have to include you should check your proper diet uh, that means when you are having it on a regular timings or uh, all the nutrients which is needed is sufficient or deficient which is deficient and then we have to uh, progress accordingly because as you uh, this age group is generally a growing age so you should give importance to proteins then fruits and vegetables proteins good quality proteins like uh, pulses egg Uh, then fish etc should be included in the diet 
chicken can also be included but not as a part of the junk food chicken you buy the locally available chicken or once or twice a week you can give your children chicken but try to have a locally available chi uh, uh, chicken and then remove the skin then cook it properly and then give it otherwise if you are not or you it's very uh, uh, not available in your uh, uh, area don't try to have uh, i mean chicken from outside because once it is uh, prepared from uh, it is uh, ordered from outside and once the ch child likes the taste it's it's a kind of but what i have seen it's a kind of addiction towards uh, this kinds of foods the children is showing so you have to uh prevent that kind of habits and at this age you can do it is it essential to consume milk for a child after the age of 5 if yes what kind of milk is advisable and how to follow is there any substitute for milk See, after the age of 5 the growth Uh, actually the growth uh, curve that is a growth curve it's an s s shaped s shaped curve that uh, curve is starts to increase that means the growth has increased in uh, after the age of 5 and after uh, 10 the uh, 10 years the growth would be faster so uh, the question is the uh, importance of milk actually the milk is the uh, major source of calcium which is uh, essential for the uh, which is an essential nutrient for the growth they can have uh, various other milk products like curd or uh, uh, buttermilk or you can uh, prepare some kind of milk shakes at home itself not a uh, i mean uh, which you you are ordering from outside that has to be prepared at the home or you can have uh, paneer kind of preparations all these uh, are uh, this, which can be used as a substitutes for milk Ma'am, how can we manage constipation in children? Since most of them do not have an interest in eating vegetables, nuts, and sometimes the fiber-rich fruits. Yeah, uh, constipation is actually uh, it's a lack of fiber. There are various reasons: lack of exercise, lack of fiber, and lack of proper fluids in the body. These all are the factors of. general factors of constipation and when nowadays the child uh, hesitate to eat uh, vegetables but you can make always make it as a part you finely chop or grind the vegetables and then or mash the vegetables and you can have stuff which chapatis or parathas kind of uh, uh, preparations can be made or preparations and even you can make soups and if a child takes soups don't make every day you prepare soups and then give it to you make different kinds of soups or shakes or either fruits or vegetables should be given a day is it good to add lemon in our water lemon is a good source of vitamin c vitamin c is volatile when you heat it it will be lost and at least it goes to the uh fumes also so it is better if you want have we always suggest uh, uh, lime water that is a proper boiled and cooled water and nowadays i mean this pandemic situation it, it is uh, always advisable to have a, a lukewarm water how important it is for a child to have direct exposure to sunlight Uh, the sunlight is a uh, good source of vitamin D. When you compare food and sunlight, sunlight has a it's always helpful for the body to uh, uh, manufacture vitamin D. So the sunlight which you have you have to get exposed is uh, between ten and three, uh, but ten uh, just fifteen minutes is needed for the uh, manufacture or the body can absorb whatever amount of sunlight which is uh, needed to prepare the or the manufacture vitamin D in the body. So it is always helpful for between 10 and 10:30, or between the, the 3 to 4, the time 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. or morning 10 to 10:30. What is digestive time? How long does it take for different nutrients? Digestive time is uh, the, the simple sugars which we eat, like sugar, uh, jaggery, or honey. These are easily absorbed and get digested easily within uh, seconds. That you can find if a uh, uh, person you all have heard, the person is. Uh, when the sugar is going low then uh, uh, they, they take the sugar and immediately the blood sugar level rises the carbohydrate it's a source of carbohydrate but depending on the composition of the food the body has different types of digestive uh, uh, timings that carbohydrates digest faster 
protein, uh, next protein and the fat takes at least 3 to 4 hours to get digested. That is why it is always advisable to have a very lighter diet at the night. As a young man, we can't avoid junk food completely. Can you suggest some alternative foods to mitigate the side effects of it? See, I cannot suggest you uh, uh, about the good effects of uh, junk foods or be because you don't know how it is prepared or in a, a, a how my, uh, what kind of temperature it's being kept or how hygienically it's being prepared. So, it, it once nowadays I cannot uh, tell you also to know, uh, completely avoid the junk foods also. But if you take once or twice a month, at least uh, try to uh, have it, the timings are always important, try to have at least uh, be, by, before 5 o'clock or you make it as a lunch or as an evening snack. Ma'am, I love to eat vegetable burger. There are many vegetables in it. Is it good to have? Is there any side effect? See, I, uh, I said the uh, uh, as I said earlier, I cannot assure you the hygienic standards which is being prepared uh, with, with, at the place where you order it. Because once the vegetables are in a bulk cooking area, this may be cut for long hours before and then would be kept. Whether it is uh, properly, uh, I mean proper hygienic standards are maintained, properly handled, various uh, guidelines are there for a food handlers. So how they, eat, handle, they are handling it and all, I cannot assure. So you can buy the bun and then cut it, add some vegetables at home because you know the standards where you prepare it. Ma'am, a few questions related to this pandemic situation. What kind of food you suggest for improving immunity power which is inevitable during this situation? Uh, in a pandemic situation, to improve the body's health, I have told you the first question is only also the nutrients. Nutrients are always good for health. So, it is important to have a balanced diet for the age. And uh, uh, that has to be taken at the proper timings. And all the nutrients should be added. That carbohydrates, proteins are the major so, uh, source of or the form of nutrients which helps the body to attain proper immunity. Uh, the nutrients which are known as protective nutrients are vitamins and minerals. This vitamins and minerals you get from the fruits and vegetables you eat and the pulses and the nuts are good sources of fat. So all these nutrients are uh, essential for this pandemic uh, situation. The, uh, the meal should be in a, uh, such a manner that you should eat the breakfast at proper timings and then you have a small snack out of fruits or vegetables and then you can go for a proper uh, lunch by uh, uh, lunch by uh, the proper timings and then uh, by uh, you can include nuts or the steamed snacks as uh, uh, mid-time snacks and then the lunch at the earliest the dinner and you should drink, drink good amount of water that is almost uh, one to at your age group at least one to 1.5 liters of food. One, one to 1.2 liters is always good in your age group. What are the easily digestible foods required for COVID patients? Okay, when once you are uh, turned uh, COVID positive, you should eat, uh, drink good amount of water, especially lukewarm water. In general, irrespective of the age, I can uh, say up to, uh, I mean, uh, up to the age, at the age of 8 to uh, 10 years, they, I, as I told you, 1 to 1.2 liters. And for the old age people, it can go up to 2 to 2.5. Generally, we uh, uh, suggest fluids in terms of their body weight. Almost 30 uh, times of the body weight, the fluid uh, requirement should be. And uh, uh, all the fluids which can be eaten at this uh, uh, pandemic are tender coconut water, then lukewarm uh, water. And this, as I told you, the spices uh, containing uh, water, two to three glasses, and uh, the lime, which is prepared at, uh, in lukewarm, that is twice a day can be taken. So this COVID situation, the body has to be kept under rest. So the your intestine, uh, the proper, the digestive system should also uh, get good rest. So that. Easily digestible foods like steamed foods like the keys, doshas, put a kind of uh, Kerala traditional steamed foods or steamed snacks can be taken. Always uh, this uh, fish and uh, egg 
etc. can be prepared as in form of curry preparations. What I mean to say is you should avoid all the deep fried items. What is the best nutritional advice you can give to us, ma'am? Okay, the health tip what I uh, I have to suggest to you all is that I have seen a lot of children in my UP that uh, uh, because of this pandemic situation, you are attending online classes and then not getting on the proper timings and uh, there is the, the schedule has gone off, gone off. So you have to prepare. Now it's a, it is always a, I mean already late to uh, have a schedule for it. Okay, all both for the parents and then the children to get up early in the morning and then uh, prepare for the uh, classes uh, at the earliest and then have a good food because the food habits are also uh, gone like anything during this pandemic situation. Because this age group, especially this age group, you can develop good habits, good eating habits in children. Parents should take care of that. And this is a preparation time for the puberty or we can call it as the adolescent age. Since, the ni since nine years, there is no separation between the boys and girls in, in terms of nutrity value or the nutritional requirements. They should have the uh, same amount of calories, protein. But after nine years, their body composition changes. They become boys and girls. This differentiation is uh, coming there so that you have to take care of having good nutritional habits. So make a proper schedule to get up and then do the exercises because exercise is always important once the, your child or for you, uh, for you once you are uh, sedan, becoming sedentary, then uh, you have to, uh, the muscles are uh, losing its tone and making and becoming it is inactive. So you have to activate it so that you have to practice at least for the children it is uh, 15 to 20 minutes in the uh, I mean the exercise, 15 to 20 minutes in the morning and 15 to 20 minutes in the evening. And uh, uh, the parents can also take part in that kind of exercises. And then the food by at least the breakfast by 8 o'clock before uh, 9 o'clock and the lunch by uh, before 2 o'clock, at least at 2 o'clock. Who is the late uh, day, uh, lunch? So, uh, uh, considering your online, the timings for your online classes and then uh, schedule the time at least before 2 o'clock and then have a snacks by four, four, between 4 and 5 and the dinner by, this is for the children I am singing and uh, uh, the dinner by at least by 8 o'clock or again maximum by 9 o'clock. So, uh, this is the healthy tips I want to say is and try to reduce the junk foods or which is uh, whatever you order from outside and make reduce up to maximum once or twice a month and then drink a uh, good amount of water. Dear ma'am, we express our sincere gratitude for your valuable presence. Even in the midst of this pandemic, you made it possible for us to clarify our doubts regarding various health issues. Thank you once again for sparing a great deal of time from your busy schedule to guide us.